Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get every single new Lumion that was released with the Atlantean City Part 2 update in the fastest way possible. Okay, in total, there were 22 new Lumions that got released with this update. A lot in the Uranata Trench and some of these Lumions actually outside of the Uranata Trench. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Let's start it off with Singil and Morial. Singil is basically the Lumion that's inside a pot and in order to find the Singil, just go into the Uranata Trench and just run around and eventually one will appear. When you have a Singil, you can evolve it into Morial in level 20 as long as there is another Singil in the party. So make sure to have two Singils in your party and then get it to level 20 in order to get it to Morial. Now, in order to get Scampy, just go into the Uranata Trench and run around. Eventually a Scampy will appear. Scampy actually has two evolutions, Pronsu and Shiposti. In order to evolve Scampy to Pronsu, you need to get it to level 30, and the Scampy has to be female. In order to evolve Scampy to Shiposti, you need to get it to level 35, and the Scampy has to be male. Now let me teach you how to get Terrapod and evolve it into Teridescent. In order to find Terrapod, you need to hunt in a specific location in the Aranata Trench. Now, watch how in this video, I go to the secret location in order for you guys to imitate it. Pretty much, I go to a secret cave that has two algae outside of it, which works as a nice reference point. And upon entering, there is some sort of red grass inside, and you pretty much just run in the wild. Terrapod is extremely rare, I think it's a 1 in 50 chance of appearing, but when you find the Terrapod, you can evolve it into Terridescent in level 31. Now let me teach you how to get Hydrolin, which is Vary's new water evolution. In order to get Hydrolin, you just need to take a Vary to the yard out the trench and level it up one level. Upon leveling up your Vary one level, it immediately is going to evolve into Hydrolin. Now Lumion Legacy released a new roamer called Dakuda, and it's actually pretty simple to find. In order to get Dakuda, you need to just pretty much finish the Atlantean City Part 2 story and eventually Dakuda will head onto the wild and you're going to be able to find Dakuda wherever you want in the game. Now, in order to get Dokken and Dokumori, you just need to go to the Arnata Trench and run in the wild. Eventually, your Dokken will evolve into Dokumori in level 33. Moving on, let me teach you how to get Krabushi and Kraptana. So pretty much just run in the wild in the Arnata Trench and you're gonna find the Krabushi. In order to evolve Krabushi to Kraptana, you want to get your Krabushi to level 25, and it's going to start evolving. And now, let me teach you how to get Samata and Cleone. Pretty much to find Samata, just go to the Araneta Trench, run in the wild, and eventually it will appear. Samata evolves into Cleone in level 27, so it's honestly not that hard. Now, in order to get Galcadia, Arceus, and Novadeus, it's actually a bit difficult, but I'm gonna teach you how. To get these three roamings, you want to finish the part 2 story and then talk to Mr. Ferex. When talking to Mr. Ferex, he will give you a quest that you must defeat 5 different solvers all across Roria. The 5 solvers that you must defeat is Florent, Gastro, Krakaloa, Eruptron, and Stratosaur. Florent you can find it in Gale Forest, Gastro you can find them in Route 4, Krakaloa you can find them in Igneous, Eruptron you can find them in Route 5, and Stratosaur you can find them in Route 7. Upon defeating these 5 solvers, you want to head on to the Aranata Trench in a very secret location. Pretty much just follow where I'm going right now and you're going to find this place. Upon getting to the secret location and clicking on the door and putting in all the things on the door, the door will open. When the door opens, there is a puzzle that you must complete and honestly the puzzle is a bit difficult. But here's a full guide on how to complete that puzzle. Just pretty much follow what I'm about to do on the screen. Okay, now you've opened the door and you've entered the place. Honestly, this part is pretty self-explanatory. 
just head down and there's going to be something you're gonna talk to and eventually you're gonna be given the option to choose either fire or ice dragon and when you choose one the other one's going to go to the wild and you're gonna be able to suffer set for the one you chose and now how do you get a nova deus it's really simple as well when you have both glossadia and arceus you click the obsidian seal while having both glossadia and arceus in the party and boom they will turn into nova deus you can unfuse these lumens as well by clicking the obsidian seal again yeah, yeah. Now let me teach you how to get Pulpy, Lafira, and Jalusa. To find Pulpy, just go to the Arnata Trench, run in the wild, and it's gonna appear. To evolve Pulpy into Lafira, it evolves in level 20. And to evolve Lafara into Jalusa, it evolves in level 34. And now finally, let me teach you how to get Fenturn and Weasling. In order to find Fenturn, you're gonna wanna go to the Atlantean City Living District and run in the wild. Fenturn is extremely hard to find. I think it's like a 1 in 50 chance. And upon finding a Fenturn, you wanna give it a Kabunga Coffee. And then while it's holding the Kabunga Coffee, you wanna level it up one level. And when it levels up one level, it's going to turn into a Weasling. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty much how to get all 22 new lumens that were just added with the Atlantean City Part 2 update. Um, if you guys want extra information or want more details in some of these lumens, such as the Roamers like Lacadia and Arceus, like if you're not finding the Solvers or any of that, make sure to check out my other videos where I go into more depth in all of this. This video, my intention is just to teach you guys how to get these lumens fast and easy because I've been noticing like the extremely long videos on how to get them and honestly getting these lumens is in other words pretty dang easy. All you gotta do is go to the Arnata Trench, run around, and then just spam power fruits on these Lumions. It was very interesting because most, if not all, of these Lumions were leaked in a way before the release of Atlantean City Part 2. I made a video covering, um, I think all these Lumions before the Atlantean City Part 2 update release, cause for the past couple of years, Lumion Legacy has been teasing and leaking these Lumions, and as you guys know, the Atlantean City Part 2 update took a long time, so yeah, for the most part, most of these Lumions Lumions, we already knew how they looked and we already saw them coming. Really interesting though how Lumion Legacy decided to add Fenturn in the Atlantean City Living District because this is something that I did not see coming. However, it does make sense since the Atlantean City Living District, there's like barely any Lumions there. And honestly, another thing that Lumion Legacy added with this update, which is the post-adventure content of being Nova Deus, is extremely crazy. Nova Deus is the first ever confirmed legendary that now currently exists in Lumion Legacy. And the fact that Lumion Legacy now has a legendary is simply insane. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Roamings were legendaries before, but apparently no, Roamings is something way different than legendary. I don't know the difference, maybe some of you guys do and you can tell me about that. And in the terms of solvers, there's a total of 6 solvers being Florent, Eruptodon, Volcola, Stratosaur, Dakura and Gastroke. I honestly didn't think most of these Lumions were going to be solvers, but Lumion Legacy uh, took that approach. I'm surprised no starter Lumions or no roaming Lumions are solvers, and I do hope to see them in the future. And honestly, getting these solvers were surprisingly easy. I thought it was going to be harder, but no. Lumion Legacy surprised me by making these solvers pretty easy to obtain. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now we're Minty, and. Hey.